Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, founder of DrAxe.com and Dr. Natural Medicine. In this video, I'll be going through the top 10 potassium-rich foods you should be getting in your diet every single day, along with the incredible benefits of potassium and how to get more in your diet every single day. And I'll tell you, this key nutrient is something that almost everybody is not getting enough of in their diet. Most of us get way too much sodium, not near enough potassium, and it's a major reason for holding extracellular fluid, cellulite, heart disease, and a number of other health problems. So let's dive right in and talk about some of the dangers of low potassium. So if you have any one of these symptoms, it can be caused by low levels of potassium. Fatigue. So if you have those low energy levels and maybe even get a good night's sleep and you're still tired the next day, you could have a mineral or vitamin deficiency. One of those minerals is potassium. Also chronic constipation. Now I'll say this, both magnesium and potassium help with constipation. Vitamin B12 and potassium help with fatigue. Irritability, muscle cramping. So again, if you tend to you know, be an athlete and get muscle cramps, uh, on a regular basis in your, in your hamstrings or in your calf muscles or even your arms and shoulders. That can be a warning sign. Weight gain, blood pressure issues, heart palpitations, nausea, depression, all of those are warning signs that you might have low potassium. So here are some of the biggest benefits that medical research has shown through clinical studies of what happens when you get more potassium in your diet and some of the benefits. Number one, overall health for your heart. Remember this, your heart is a smooth muscle. Potassium helps with um, something called your sodium potassium pump, which is one of the things that really helps support healthy rhythms within your body. So again, potassium is great for your heart. Number two, fewer cramps. If you're a person that gets any type of cramping, especially in your calves or feet, that's a warning sign that your potassium levels are low and you have an electrolyte imbalance in your body. Remember this, staying hydrated is not just about drinking water, it's about getting plenty of fluids and electrolytes like potassium in your diet on a daily basis. Number three, it actually lowers your risk of a stroke. You know, most people don't know they're gonna have a stroke until they're having it. So for you and everybody, everyone you love, 50% of people struggle with some form of heart disease or 50% or more in their lifetime. It's one of the top, top two killers in America today. You wanna to reduce your risk, get more potassium in your diet. Number four, helps lower blood pressure. We know high blood pressure, uh, it's very taxing on the heart causing your heart to wear it. Also, high blood pressure increases your risk of having a heart attack. You wanna get more potassium because it naturally lowers blood pressure by helping bring more nutrients into your cells there as well. Number five, it hides cellulite. If you're a person with cellulite, a lot of times a big part of that is fluid retention. If you wanna get rid of cellulite, here's what you need to do. Cut down on your sodium intake, increase your potassium rich food intake, and also make sure you're getting foods like bone broth and collagen in your diet on a daily basis. So those help strengthen connective tissue. And number six, fights osteoporosis. You know, when it comes to bone health, our mind always goes to calcium, but our mind should also go to other minerals like magnesium, phosphorus, and, uh, and potassium here are all important minerals for your bones, as is the vitamin, uh, vitamins, vitamin D and vitamin K2. All of these can help with your bones. Now, here's the secret on getting potassium-rich foods in your diet every single day or how to get potassium in your diet via the foods you're eating. Number one potassium rich food are avocados. Now avocados, they're not a fruit, they're not a vegetable, they're not a nut, they're actually a one seeded droop. And avocados are incredibly benefit for having healthy fats, high magnesium, but also potassium. This is one of nature's sort of a great uh, mineral rich foods. Do an avocado a day, all right. Number two here, acorn squash. Now I love squash in the fall time, and uh, you know I love doing this just with a side of you know chicken or beef. But acorn squash and all types of squash, including butternut squash, those are high in potassium, as is pumpkin. Um, also, by the way, with the avocados, just cut up a few, add them to a salad, add them to a burger, or make guacamole. Lots of great ways there to get avocado in your diet. Number three, spinach. Now, spinach is high in lutein, xanthine, vitamin K, vitamin A, magnesium, calcium, 
also potassium. Getting green leafy vegetables in your diet is a great way to get more potassium, along with alkalizing your body by increasing the minerals available to your body. Number four, sweet potatoes. We know that sweet potatoes are a very, very potassium dense superfood. And again, this is good for every, anyone and everybody most likely today needs to get more potassium because we're getting too much sodium in our diet as well. Number five, wild caught salmon. Fish can be a good source. Number six, dried apricots can be great as a snack. Number seven, pomegranates. Now pomegranates are also very high in certain types of antioxidants that really help with anti-aging out as potassium. In fact, this is one of the greatest foods to help tighten and tone and firm your skin, helping you look younger. Number eight, coconut water. Coconut water is known as nature's sports drink. It doesn't have any of the food coloring or any of the chemicals that a lot of today's sports drinks has. It just has lots of potassium, lots of electrolytes to help you stay hydrated. That's a great thing for a young athlete to do. Coconut water, sprinkle a little bit of sea salt in there. Drink that throughout the day for hydration. Number nine, white beans. White beans also have lots of potassium. And number 10, of course, bananas. You know, we all know that bananas have potassium. So I don't remember mentioning another good food high in potassium is actually bone broth has good levels of potassium. If you just do like a bone broth protein supplement, bone broth protein mixed with a banana for a smoothie, great way to get more potassium in your diet on a daily basis. So remember this, potassium is critical for your heart pumping. It's critical for your muscles firing and to keep your muscles from getting cramped. It's also so important for your body's exchange of fluid and the health of your kidneys, doing it in proper ratios. Now again, if you do have a kidney issue or on kidney dialysis, those people wanna stay away from potassium uh, for a time being and consume lots of vegetables and fruits that aren't rich in potassium. But for the most part, most of us, 98% of the population, needs to get more potassium in our diet on a daily basis. As you can see here, all of the many benefits. Guys, so remember, most of us today, way too much sodium, 10 times too much, one seventh of the potassium we should be getting on a daily basis. And you get potassium through eating lots of fruits, lots of vegetables every single day. And hey, if you've enjoyed this article and you want a more detailed list, hey, check out my website or just do a Google search in a new tab, Dr. Axe Potassium. You'll see an in-depth article there on potassium along with many other minerals and also, don't forget to subscribe here to this page. I've got a lot more advanced nutrition tips coming out on the top foods high in other minerals like magnesium and calcium, essential oils, and a whole lot more, guys. This has been Dr. Axe, me talking about the many benefits of potassium. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.